you're looking at a live view of the Falcon 9 rocket as it prepares to launch at 12.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Good afternoon and welcome to the webcast of SpaceX's CRS-12 mission uh, to launch to resupply the International Space Station. My name is Tom. I'm a firmware engineer in the avionics department here at SpaceX. Now, today's mission will mark the final new Cargo Dragon spacecraft to visit the ISS, with all future CRS launches from SpaceX to be conducted with reused Dragon spacecraft. Now, on board Dragon today are 6,000 pounds of cargo, including food, crew provisions, medical supplies, fuel, and air for the station, as well as a number of research experiments, which we'll talk about more during the webcast, or later on during the webcast. Uh, also today, after the Falcon 9 drops that Dragon spacecraft into orbit, the first stage will be uh, attempting to land at our LZ-1 landing zone back at Cape Canaveral, just a few miles south of Kennedy Space Center, where we're launching from today. On your screen, you can see a beautiful shot of Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. Let's take a look at exactly what you can see on your screen right now. Uh, at the center of the screen is the Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, this rocket is comprised of two main stages. That bottom two-thirds of the rocket or so is the first stage. This blasts the rocket off from liftoff to about a hundred kilometers above the surface of the Earth. And then on top of that is the second stage, which takes the Dragon spacecraft the, west, the rest of the way into orbit. Uh, at the very top of the rocket, that nose cone looking thing at the very top, that is the Dragon and its trunk. That Dragon is currently loaded with about 6,000 pounds of supplies and experiments for the ISS. Uh, mind you, today is an instantaneous launch window, so if we don't get a chance to launch at exactly 12.45 p.m. today, we will be having to attempt again on another date. We just got a notification that stage one fuel load is complete and the rocket is looking go for launch. Stop at some position for T0 and 8.3 degrees. Copy that. T minus two minutes. H2 locks load closed out. Vehicles and self line. Ground side gas closeouts have started. AFTS is ready for launch. BCDC verify Falcon 9 and Dragon are in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in startup. Gas close, that's complete. LD, verify, go for launch. Go for launch. T minus 30. Minus 20. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is over the tower. Move to 39A and add to add post operations. Copy, we'll go. Power 
you are watching the Falcon 9 rocket carrying the Dragon spacecraft as it ascends through the atmosphere en route to the International Space Station after a successful liftoff from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The vehicle has just passed through supersonic territory. And the vehicle has also just passed through max Q, which is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees during its ascent through the atmosphere. just about 45 seconds now. Uh, the first stage is going to go through a few maneuvers, all in very uh, close succession. The first of those is going to be main engine cutoff. It's when those nine Merlin engines at the bottom of the first stage stop thrusting. Immediately after that, the first stage is going to separate from the second stage, and then immediately after that, the second stage's single Merlin vacuum engine is going to ignite and prepare to accelerate the Dragon spacecraft the rest of the way towards the orbit of the International Space Station. You can see those exhaust gases from the Falcon 9 expanding in the upper atmosphere. Stand by for Miko in just about five seconds. And as you can see, the main engines have cut off from the first stage, and we have confirmation of a successful separation. Just waiting for that second engine to start up. As you can hear from the uh, crowd cheering downstairs, it sounds like we've had a successful separation and a successful ignition of that upper stage engine. Now on your screen right now, you can see uh, that second stage on the right-hand side as it accelerates towards the International Space Station. However, on the left-hand side, you're looking at a view from the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, that first stage just completed its boost back burn, which thrusts it back towards Cape Canaveral and gets it ready for a landing. On your left hand side you can see those grid fins deploying on the first stage. Those grid fins uh, are used to control the first stage as it descends down through the atmosphere. Getting confirmation from our GNC department that trajectory of the second stage is nominal. Just had confirmation of a successful boost back burn shutdown as well. Periodically on the left hand side, you'll see uh, jets of gas. These are cold gas thrusters. Uh, in addition to those grid fins, those cold gas thrusters allow that first stage to control its descent so that it can pinpoint land in the center of LZ1. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see that second stage nozzle glowing hot with those exhaust gases. That second stage is currently accelerating nominally towards the ISS. We've just acquired signal as well from our Bermuda tracking station. SpaceX has tracking stations situated all over the world so we can maintain constant contact with the second stage engine as it orbits the Earth. That first stage uh, is about one minute away from the entry burn. Uh, you can see the coast of Florida in the left-hand side of your screen as the stage comes back down towards land. Um, it's still in the very upper regions of the atmosphere where air is very thin, um, but before it hits the thicker atmosphere portions, uh, we do, are going to light those engines once again to slow it down just a little bit so it doesn't burn up on its way down towards Cape Canaveral. This is a beautiful shot uh, from space of Cape Canaveral. Uh, you can see the white dots of clouds uh, that we just launched through. We should be able to get clear video all the way back down towards landing zone one.
and the entry burn has just started. So that Falcon 9 is currently crushing its way uh, just to slow itself down. That was successful. For those of us just joining, on the left-hand side, we have a camera on the first stage as it descends, and on the right-hand side, we have a camera on the ground tracking that first stage as it makes its way back. In about 10 seconds, that center Merlin engine is gonna ignite once more and set the rocket down as gently as possible at the pad at LZ-1. Landing burn has begun. On the left-hand side, you can see the uh, first stage approaching the pad. And on the right-hand side, you see the pad shot. Let's watch it land. marks the spot for yet another uh, picture-perfect landing of a Falcon 9 first stage back at LZ-1 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Uh, this is great news for everyone here at SpaceX. Uh, this is exactly what we try to do with all of our rocket, or most of our rockets now these days. Um, so uh, while we all are uh, very excited about this successful landing, it's important to note that the main objective today is still not complete. Uh, on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see that second stage continually accelerating itself and the Dragon spacecraft towards the International Space Station. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get our confirmation uh, that the second stage engine cutoff is about to happen soon. Uh, this is when that second stage engine uh, finishes its main burn, finishes accelerating a Dragon most of the way towards the ISS. And then after that burn is complete, the Dragon will then separate from the second stage and then begin its own preparations uh, as it goes towards the ISS. And so we just had uh, confirmation of a good orbit and a second stage engine shutdown. Uh, this means the Dragon is exactly where we plan it to be, uh, where we wanted it to be in that orbit. Uh, this is fantastic news. Uh, it's still not quite done yet. We have a few other events coming up in quick succession here. The first is going to be Dragon deployment. Uh, on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see a camera uh, pointing from the top of the second stage up into the trunk of the Dragon. We should be able to see that. Oh, there it goes. Dragon has successfully deployed. <clears throat> As you can see, this is big news for the crowd down there. Uh, it means the Dragon is happy and in orbit. Right now on your screen, you can see that second stage engine nozzle uh, after having completed its mission of bringing the Dragon to a low Earth orbit. Uh, solar array deploy should be happening in just a few seconds right now. And there it is. Uh, as you can see, those are the solar arrays of Dragon slowly unfolding. Looks like a successful solar array deploy. Dragon's propulsion system is also primed and ready to thrust its way towards the ISS. Now, Dragon's journey to the space station is right now far from over. Um, that those Dragon has about 36 hours of slow maneuvering, uh, inching closer and closer to the space station until it's close enough to be grabbed by the robotic cannon arm on the station. Uh, however, while Dragon still has a long way to go, uh, this is going to bring our webcast to a close today. Um, we'd like to uh, thank the viewers here for tuning in. Um, today we had a successful launch right on time at 12.31 p.m. from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We had a successful stage separation, a successful landing of the Falcon 9 first stage, and a successful Dragon deployment from that second stage. Thank you so much for watching.